This is a regular shuttercock. This is a ceiling fan upon medium. Just look at this shuttle dancing. So what's up guys, welcome back. Uh, last month, BWF posted a video of outdoor badminton. And you know I was absolutely blown away. Let's watch the video together. Badminton, the new outdoor game. Wow! Wow! This is crazy, man! My gosh! Did you look at that? Like, my shuttle with the fan would dance. And this, you can't even play in the park. This is amazing. This is really, really amazing. Like, if you go to their website, you kind of check out the specs of this uh, air badminton. It says, I can use my own racket. I don't have to wear different shoes. I can even play without shoes on the beach. And the shuttle can resist winds of up to 12 kilometers per hour. To give you an idea of how strong that is, it's roughly something like this. Yeah, so it's pretty, pretty darn strong. Uh, wow, just think of the potential. My gosh, it's like now with this technology, it's even possible to do things like rooftop badminton, like playing on top of Marina Bay Sands. We can even have outdoor stadiums where competition is held in a much bigger hall, like a much bigger stadium. And there is so much more space that we can use to play badminton. You know, one of the challenges in land scarce Singapore is that to, to, to actually build badminton halls is that badminton requires a height of like three floors. So by having air badminton, that removes the limitation because we can just get rid of the roof. So that is crazy. I can just imagine the potential impact that you have in badminton, not just in Singapore, but all around the world. It's amazing. Do you want to try? I want to try. I can't, I, I, I can't wait to see this technology. In fact, I think once they figure out the science behind this, they're going to bring this to the actual game of badminton, man. Why not? Because professional players, when they play in halls with air condition, the, the AC actually affects the, shutter, the flight of the shuttlecock. So, yeah, I don't see why this technology will not be transferred to, to the normal badminton. So, it's going to be crazy. I would love to try. The on, I only have one pet piece for this. Like, the only pet piece I have is that, you know, the length for this, it's 16 meters long. I think the regular badminton court is like 13.4 meters long. So, that's like a good 
20% longer. So now instead of having to take two steps to the front, I probably need to take like three steps. So that means a lot more energy, a lot more coverage. So the game dynamic is going to be slightly, not slightly, quite a little bit different. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited to try it out. Are you? So what do you think about this new sports app? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. And yeah, I wanted to take this Wednesday to share with you guys this amazing discovery that I discovered last month, actually. I wanted to share something about it. Just didn't have the time. So I figured, you know what, let's just make a simple Wednesday video. Uh, share with you guys, chit chat, have fun. And yeah, I was thinking I could make this a regular thing. Like every Wednesday, do something simple, like very minor edits. I don't do too much editing, uh, like the usual videos that I do. So I can address like Q&As, mindset, strategy issues, and whatnot. So um, yeah, so what are some of the things you would like me to address perhaps in the next coming Wednesday's chit chat session? Because after all, I'm making this for you. So I, once again, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace. There's a reason for my feelings. There's a reason why I'm healing. Yeah, I feel higher than the ceiling. All because of you. You and I are so sweet, so sweet. Talk until we asleep, asleep. Every night I fall deep, fall deep.